And now, for the singing of our national anthem, please join rising recording artist and Indianapolis' own Maida. Oh, say can you sing by the dawn's early light What's so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleam in case you missed it, that was 21-year-old Indy native Maida singing at one of the Elite Eight games in last month's Indy NCAA tournament in Indy. We spoke to her here on the Fox 59 Morning Show before she performed about being back in her hometown and about her music career. And then I had the chance to talk to her yesterday about that performance and about a huge step in her career. She was just signed to Jay-Z's Rock Nation label and her brand new EP, Habits, is out today. Maida, it is so good to see you again. Let's kind of take folks back to where we just left off with you last time we talked to you. What was it like for you to sing the national anthem for the NCAA basketball tournament? I know you were a little bit nervous. How did you think it went? I think it went pretty well. I was so nervous. I thought I was doing so good. <laughs> then I walked out there to do it and just all the, like, the light came on me and I saw the crowd and all the players and I was so nervous. But thankfully, I didn't forget the words. That was what I was the most nervous for. And I think it went really well. Everybody loved it. My family was like really proud of me. So yeah. yeah. Yes. And now one of the reasons we wanted to have you back because you have some just huge news. And since we last talked to you during March Madness, you signed a label deal with Jay-Z's Rock Nation. Yes. What was your reaction? What is your reaction to that? Um, I'm just very happy. I feel like I've been working towards this since I was a little girl. So it feels good that all of this work that felt like it was going nowhere at one point has kind of has paying off a little bit. And I'm really just happy to make my people, my family and in Indiana proud. I had a lot of people from Indiana that were really proud of me. So it felt really good. Yeah, I think you went to Pike High School. That's right. Am I right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, and being back in Indiana and signing with Jay-Z's label. And now today you have your new EP, Habits Coming Out. Um, yes. Are you nervous? How are you feeling? I'm nervous. I've been working on this project for about two years. So it's Nobody's really heard it, so it kind of feels weird for everybody to finally hear it because it's just been my little baby for a little bit. So I'm nervous, but I'm really excited because I've been really anxious and just dying to get it out there. Yeah, you're just 21 years young, very yes. young. Um, <laughs> yes. yes, and I know it's a hard time to be a teenager mm -hmm. and all the social yeah. media. I've read a little bit about, you know, you started a lot of this really getting noticed on Instagram, but it's also a hard mm -hmm. place to be. I have a 17-year-old daughter. Um, how do you mm -hmm. deal with a lot of... Um, you know, trying to get your name out there and being in the spotlight, but also not taking it too much to heart. It's hard because I take things way too serious. That's my problem. So I try to just let go and have fun, but it's definitely hard, especially like posting things for so many people to see. Mm. You, I start analyzing every little detail and trying to be perfect all the time, but you have to just not think about that stuff and let go and just whoever sees it sees it mm -hmm. and hopefully they love it and if they don't I can't do anything about that yeah. so yeah but obviously you have a passion and, and you want to keep doing what you're doing and you want to be successful mm -hmm. at it um, your yeah. song teen scene is about leaving Indiana yes. and being uh, I mean going to this big city in LA um, mm -hmm. how did you do that for maybe a teenager or someone you know who no matter what it is they want to follow their dream mm -hmm. what do you what advice do you give to somebody I always say that you have to be uncomfortable to grow and evolve. So I would say just take that risk that you want to take. Anything that's going to get you closer to your dreams. If it's uncomfortable or scary, you have to do it. Because otherwise, you would just be stuck in your little bubble and you wouldn't grow. So you have to be uncomfortable to get closer to your dreams. That's what I always say. Yeah, your beautiful voice um, is just amazing. We wish you the Thank very you. best of luck. Thank you. Maida was not able to sing for us yesterday, so we wanted to give you a little taste of one of the songs on her EP. It is called Teen Scene. Take a listen. You are backwards. You act like it's for me. Mm -hmm. So I left you in the teen scene. I'll be there for you. But I'm still backwards. Nice. 
The girl can sing. Yeah, she's got another single out too. Toxic. Yes. It's very good as well. Yeah, so the album out officially today. Maida is her name. Get to know it.